Today concludes a series designed to help you review your 2022. What worked, what didn't, why, why not? Like we talked about, if you've learned nothing else over the last couple of years, it's that we need to unexpected proof your money. Of course, it's not going to be those rainbows and butterflies, but have you been set up for success? We've been finding out in this episode, we're back with one last key question so that you can effectively evaluate your status. So let's do this. Welcome back to the Your Money, Your Life podcast. I'm your host, Amy Circa. I am so thrilled that you're here, that you made it. If you celebrate, happy happy. (laughs) If you celebrate, I hope that you had a Merry Christmas, a happy holidays. If you do not celebrate Christmas, um, I really hope that you've enjoyed the time with your family. And this week is always kind of like a limbo week. Most people have, um, kind of like rest period before we kickstart relaxing, um, relaxing before we kickstart the new year. And I hope that you've been able to do that and taking that time that we've talked about these money reflection questions. If you missed them, we kicked off this series in episode 57. And we are finally now here talking about if you've achieved your goals. And we kind of started the series talking about your goals and really how to be able to tell a year from now if you will have achieved the goals that you've set. But today we're talking about the financial goals that you had and really just like your goals in general for 2022, because this is it. We're here, right? So have you achieved your financial goals? And if your answer is no, want to know why not? And of course, if you heard me talk before, your instinct is probably going to be like, well, I don't know. So if you had to guess, what would be the guess? Why haven't you achieved it? Sure, we can talk about inflation and some external circumstances that come up. You might have illness. There might have been things that have gone on and it's been a struggle, right? And you know, you probably have heard my story. If not, that is, we've been through struggle. But I know that with the simple systems that we put in place, that we can go from struggle to unstoppable. And that process is not about avoiding all of the problems. Like it's not going to happen. I am not promising you again, the rainbows, butterflies, like happy day. It's not happening. Okay. That's not how life works. And if anybody's selling you that, like run, (laughs) that that's it. It's not that we are going to be a problem-free life. That's not what we're looking for. It's what do you do? What do you do when those problems come up? When you step into unstoppable and you have those unstoppable finances, when those problems come up, they don't stop you. You have the peace, not because there's a lack of problems, but because you know that you have the systems in place. You know, you know what to do, that you are unstoppable. It doesn't matter what shows up because you're going to keep going. It's not going to hold you back. It's not for forever because you put those systems in place. The same thing happens with your finances and you probably know, but we're going to repeat it. Finances is the cornerstone. That is why we talk finances. I have created so many different systems. It's like my zone of genius is creating systems to be able to do all of these things. This episode of the Your Money, Your Life podcast is brought to you by the 14-Day Money Mastery Action Plan. Are you tired of your finances being a mess? What if you could take charge of your money without feeling overwhelmed, even if you're not a numbers person, even if you don't know where to begin, even if you just don't have the time, even if you failed in the past, and even if you don't want to sacrifice your lifestyle? then the 14-day Money Mastery Action Plan is just for you. Inside the action plan, I'll help you know exactly what you need to do next with your money so that you avoid the overwhelm. You'll be doing the right things with your finances. You'll be making financial progress in a healthy way. You'll spend money on yourself, guilt and judgment-free because you deserve it. You're going to be on track to taking charge of your finances instead of just sliding by because the bills are paid. To see all the details, simply visit amycircacom forward slash action or text action to 817-969-4653. And of course, if you missed that link, it'll be hanging out in the show notes as well. 
So this system that we're talking about now, right? I want to know why you haven't achieved your goals. What could have gone, what could you have done differently to actually make you achieve them? And things that we can control. Because again, there's so much out of your control. But if you're going to be unstoppable, we have to focus on the part that you can control. So have you achieved your financial goals? If the answer is yes, awesome, great. What could you have done to make it better? But for a lot of us, the answer is going to be no. I don't know what the statistic is, but it's something like 80% of goals that are set aren't actually achieved. And then we have to reflect on why. Why are they not achieved? Really, it's why not. But why haven't we hit those financial goals? And again, we can talk about the external outside perspective, but that doesn't do us any good. We have to focus on ourselves and what we can control in the moment and we can control our actions. So what could you have done differently? And of course, the episode sponsorship is the 14-Day Money Mastery Action Plan. And that is really why I put this together is there is like you logically know what to do, right? Your finances, it's not like rocket science that we have to, I mean, there's math involved, but it's not a ton of math. It's not rocket science. Logically, you know what to do, right? But it's overwhelming. You don't know where to start because your finances are a mess. It kind of just gets pushed to the side, to the back burner because you, you know what to do, right? And the bills are getting paid, so it'll just, we'll prioritize it later. When I hit this income goal or when this happens, and we've talked about that before. But the 14-Day Money Mastery Action Plan is designed to help you finally get into action, to finally figure out this money thing and remove that stress, that struggle, help you start on that path to those unstoppable finances. So if you're serious and you're like, we are going to figure this out, I don't want to be in the same place next year. I know that you can do this. The 14-Day Money Mastery Action Plan is designed to help you get there. So with that, your challenge today, have an amazing rest of the year. Hopefully you're listening to this before the new year. Otherwise, that just sounds a little off. But reflect, have you achieved your financial goals? If you haven't, why not? What, What could you have done differently? And if you're serious, you're ready to make that change, you're ready to take that leap, it's not... It's not a big investment. We can't even eat at Chick-fil-A or a fast food restaurant as a family. I guess we're a family of six now, but five of us eating, it's less than that investment of a fast food restaurant because I am so passionate about helping you step into that unstoppable finances that you're looking for. So with that, that is it for this week. And we'll see you next week on the Your Money, Your Life podcast. Bye for now. Thank you so much for listening to the Your Money, Your Life podcast. Wondering what's next? When you're ready, there are different levels of support that you can use on the path to creating unstoppable finances and your unstoppable life. After all, your finances are unique and your support should be too. Ultimately, we'll create a customized plan to ditch financial struggle for good that works for you, your goals, your priorities, your life. Go to workwithamy.com to get started with one of our most popular programs, or you can book a Q&A call with me and we'll figure out what your next step should be.